Hello and welcome to Must See TV and Movies. Today we're going to talk about the women from Battlestar Galactica. I'm going to talk about the original series from 1978 and the reboot, BSG, from 2004 to 2009. I thought I'd start off first with Maureen Jensen, who played Athena in the original. She was the daughter of Commander Adama, played by Lauren Green, and the sister of Apollo, played by Richard Hatch. In the beginning, she's kind of a love interest of Starbuck, played by Dirk Benedict, but that kind of fizzled out. If you noticed, all the women that survived in the 1978 attack of the Cylons all could have been models. If you've never seen it, go back and watch it, and you'll just say, hey, I'm spot on, I'm right. Next up from BSG, we have Candace McClure, who played Officer Anastasia Diwali, or D for short. She had feelings for Billy in the beginning. Billy worked for the president, but when Billy asked her to marry her, she said no. Oh, because she had feelings for Apollo. But she ends up killing herself because she wanted to remember the good times because deep down he was always going to be in love with Starbuck. Hated that. I hated seeing her killed off. I enjoyed her character. The way that scene was shot, it was too graphic, too violent, and too heartbreaking for them to show that in the original series. There's no way they could have shown that in the original series. It was the 70s. It just, it just would not have happened. But I loved her character and was sad to see her go. Next up, we have Lorette Spang, who played Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia was once the love interest of legendary Commander Kane, who returns back out of nowhere on the Pegasus. She goes back to him because she's in love with him. She loves him, leaving Starbuck to go, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? That rekindling is short-lived because Commander Kane goes off to fight the Cylons, leaving Cassiopeia to reunite with Starbuck. Another, uh, Cassiopeia was another character I really loved. Lorette Spang was a great actress. She did a gr- fantastic job. Next up from BSG, we have Boomer, played by Grace Park. When I first saw it, I said, wait, wait a minute. Boomer was a guy. Boomer was a guy in the original, but they did such a fantastic job with this character. So complex. We find out, I think, after the first episode that she is a Cylon. She's number eight. She was programmed with a false memory, so she believes she's a human being. She's having blackouts. She's sabotaging the Battlestar Galactica. She's also romantically involved with Galen Chief Terrell, who is also a Cylon, but doesn't know it yet. Spoiler alert. But this character is so amazing. She also attempts to assassinate Commander Adama. It's just such a fantastic character. Probably one of my favorite characters on the reboot. There's so much more to her character, but I could make this an hour on just Boomer alone. So we're going to move on to Jane Seymour, who played Serena. I mentioned earlier that in the original series... The women that survived the Cylon attack could be models. Well, Jane Seymour was actually a model. Turned actress. She played Serena. She was only on three episodes. She had a son named Boxy, who we were stuck with, and Monkey Dog. It was a dog that looked like a monkey. I think it was a monkey in a dog suit. But she marries Apollo. She's killed off, so we're stuck with Boxy and Monkey Dog. Next up, we have Mary McDowell, who played President Laura Roslin. Before the Cylon attack, she's the Secretary of Education. After the attack, she's the highest-ranking cabinet member, so she becomes the president. She turns out to be a strong leader, another complex character. She has breast cancer. It was very political and current to the times that the show was on. Just a fantastic job. Loved her character. Next up, we have Anne Lockhart, who played Lieutenant Sheba. She is the daughter of legendary Commander Kane. Lieutenant Sheba was as good a fighter pilot as the men. So she could have probably played in the reboot. Her character was kind of ahead of her time. She was a great fighter pilot in the original series, 2004 version, the reboot. It was common for the women to be just as good or even better than the men. But this was the 70s. So it was kind of a a new territory, but I thought it played off pretty well. And she later becomes a love interest of Apollo. Next up from BSG, we have Trisha Helfer, who played number six. Now, number six, another amazing character, sexy, smart, tough, vulnerable. When we first see her character, she's manipulating Gaius Baltar to get in and shut down the defense system so the Cylons can wipe out all the humans. Six takes you on a wild ride because her character, you should be rooting against, but there's times you actually feel bad for her because beaten, she's been abused. You just feel bad because you feel the human side of the Cylons. But again, her character is responsible for eliminating almost the whole human race. So do we feel bad for her? Do we not feel bad for her? But I thought she does a fantastic job of acting. Her character had substance. Her character was someone you look forward to watching each week. Horrific job by Trisha Helfer with her acting. It's just a fantastic, fantastic character. 
Next up, we're going to stay with BSG, and we have Rekha Sharma, who played Tori Foster. Now, Tori came on the show later on. She took over for Billy. When Billy died, she became the president's aide, Rosalind's aide. She turns out she's a Cylon, but she is one of the ones that doesn't know she's a Cylon. She's one of the five. She hears the music. Goes on. On New Caprica, she joins the human resistance, and she's just another strong character. And then we're going to conclude with Katie Sackoff, who played Kara Thrace, who played Starbucks. She was just an amazing. She was tough. She smoked cigars. She could drink people under the table. There's a scene where she fights Apollo, where they're fighting back and forth in a boxing ring. There's no way. There is no way they would have had that scene in the original in 1978. It just because women on this show are equal. They're equal in every way in the reboot that you you don't have a problem with them fighting. In fact, she's she's pretty much winning the fight. Looks with a chip on her shoulder, and she's the best fighter pilot. Because Apollo could be kind of whiny, and that, that's pretty much true to form with the original Apollo. He was kind of whiny. People love Starbuck. They, you want to root for Starbuck. Starbuck was how you kind of want to be. You kind of want to be that tough, rumble-tough person. And she played it off well. Katie Sackhoff did a fantastic job at Starbuck. And I want to conclude that BSG would not have worked if they didn't make the women strong and make them strong, important characters. Now, again, I love the 78 version of BSG, but it was different times. There were some strong women on the show. The women characters on BSG were equals, and that's what made the show as great as it was. So there you have it. Those are the women of BSG. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Give us a like. Give us a share. Give us a thumbs up, all that fun stuff, and we'll be back later on. Thanks for watching Must See TV.